welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I help agency owners scale their businesses. Cold emailing is called cold emailing because the leads are cold. You have no prior relationship with them, which probably means that you don't have their email address. So how do you get it? In this video, I'm going to show you a nifty little tool that you can use for free and I'm gonna share my screen so we can do a quick demo together. If that sounds good, give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right in. All right, so the tool is called hunter.io and it is an email finder and email verifier. Let's jump right in with a screen share. All right, this is really simple, my friends. Let's say we want to cold email someone from Mirror to sell our services. All we would do is take their URL, drop it here in hunter.io and click find email addresses. Then you'll see here that what hunter.io tells us is that this is the most common pattern of email address that it's finding. First name dot last name at mirror.co. Okay, but we're also seeing some other uh, results down here. For instance, it has a verified, I'm just hovering over the little check mark here, a verified email address that is just first name at mirror.co. Um, so what we would do with this information is let's say that we found a contact on LinkedIn that we want to cold email and we have their first and last name because we got that from LinkedIn. So what I would first try, if I didn't have their email address, I would try their first name dot last name at mirror.co, give it a few days, and if that email address didn't work, then you could just try first name at mirror.co. Um, or I suppose you could email both at the same time. I just wouldn't make that transparent to the recipient because it looks a little funky. Um, so that's just one example of how to use uh, hunter.io. Let's do one more example. Let's say we want to try to sell our services to someone at Reebok. We would take their URL, paste it in here. And once again, hunter.io is telling us that the most common pattern is first name dot last name at Reebok.com. And we see this with much more examples, probably because Reebok's a way bigger company. Um, but we have all sorts of email addresses here that are first name dot last name. That's what most of these look like. Uh, don't forget that you can look at the dot next to the name and it'll tell you how confident it is that this email address is correct. So confidence score is 93%, um, 94. So in terms of finding email addresses uh, for Reebok, hunter.io is pretty certain. So again, you would want to track down the specific employee that you know you want to contact, which you can do with LinkedIn. So at that point, you have their first name and their last name, but you don't have their email address. That is when you would come to hunter.io and uh, use this to figure out what their email address structure is. There are a lot of tools similar to hunter.io, and I would say that the main thing you need to remember about all of them is that overwhelmingly, they are making educated guesses as to whether or not that email is accurate. Now we saw in hunter.io, it tells you how sure of the accuracy of that email that the tool is. Sometimes it comes back verified and sometimes it doesn't. Any tool that you use is going to be the same thing. What does this mean for you? Well, it means that you might send an email to an email address that doesn't exist. That email might never land anywhere. Uh, it might bounce back to you. So you might not always get it right on the first try. This is part of cold emailing and it's just going to mean that you might have to try a few email addresses before you're able to land in the right inbox. Don't forget about using streak to track your email opens. I talk about it more in this video. You can use streak for free and that's going to help you determine whether or not you're reaching out to the right person. One more thing, you can use hunter.io to find and verify email addresses in bulk. So what you would do is upload a CSV and the CSV is going to need the first name, last name, company name, and domain name of all of your contacts, all of your leads. So you put that into the tool and then Hunter is going to spit out a new spreadsheet that has all of the email addresses or what the tool believes to be their email, email addresses. 
Some are gonna be verified and some won't. So if you have a huge spreadsheet of leads, uh, hunter.io does give you that option. Full disclosure, I don't use this feature a ton. Um, it doesn't make sense for me personally. I source leads in much smaller batches, so I don't have huge spreadsheets of leads without the email address. Um, also, my process for landing clients, and it's what I teach my students in my program, my first step is always to try to personally connect with these people on LinkedIn first and start the conversation there. But Everyone has their own way of doing things. So if you have these big spreadsheets, just know that importing everything in bulk is an option when you use a tool like hunter.io. I use cold emailing to get my own agency off the ground. And these days we use a combination of LinkedIn outreach plus cold emailing. And we've scaled to almost $20,000 a month in revenue. Uh, if you need some help with your own agency, I have a free guide. It is free. It's really weird, even after saying it's free, people will still reach out and be like, but is it really free? And I'm like, yeah, it's really free. So anyhow, this free guide will teach you how to optimize your LinkedIn profile so that you can rank higher in search results, very important. And it also includes one of my cold email templates, again, for free. If you want all five of my templates, these are the exact templates that my students and I use to land clients every single week, That is not free, but I will drop the link below. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you found this content helpful, I hope that you will support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss my new content and I'll see you next time.